do I remember about 1980? I was binge reading science fiction novels and comic books, building model tanks was still really cool, and I watched a lot of TV. Was I doing much with trains? I can't be sure. Did I have a girlfriend? Hmm, does Wonder Woman or Farrah Fawcett count? No, I, I guess not. But there's no guessing involved about what era of Lionel Train's 1980 represents. The MPC Years. The Model Products Corporation was part of General Mills. Yes, the cereal company. And some collectors look down upon these trains, but I love them. They may not be the most detailed models, but the graphics and lettering are mostly really sharp. They don't have wireless Bluetooth command systems, but the powered units are generally reliable. And when they do break, parts and repairs are usually cheaper and easier than modern trains. When you look closely at the photos and descriptions, the rolling stock, the passenger cars, and the locomotives are nearly all pictured on top of tubular track. Lionel sold curved pieces in larger sizes, but I think everything in this catalog could navigate 031 curves. If you couldn't build a permanent layout, then Lionel's tubular sections made setups and teardowns easy after a few hours of runtime. Trains going around on that track made pretty much noise. If the same track was on top of a sheet of plywood, the sound would echo and reverberate even more. It isn't great for your hearing, but it's awesome for making memories. It's been a while since I've paged through this catalog. Their offering of freight cars and other rolling stock reminds me of what Menards is currently selling in their stores and online. 
Maybe some of the executives at Menards are also nostalgic for the MPC era, just like me. Whether you're talking about boxcars, buildings, or catalog cover art, I think Menards has learned a lot by studying Lionel catalogs over the years. I think that's a good thing. If watching this video was a good thing for you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.